Hello and welcome to another episode of Pat Bear's Anime Club. This is the 69th Pat Bear's Anime Club, which is pretty nice. I'm Pat Bear. I'm here to talk to you about something from the world of anime that interests me. I do one of these every other Monday. In the comments below, let me know um, what you think I should cover in the future. Something from anime or manga or light novels that you think like, Hey Pat, you should definitely do a whole episode about this. Today, we are going to be talking about, click over here real quick and then click back. Great. We're talking about four spring 2022 romantic comedies. This season has a ton of romantic comedies. Uh, there's just a ton of anime in general. And I could go through all of them, but I don't want to. I just want to focus on four. So I will not be talking about uh, Comey Can't Communicate Season 2. Or Science Fell in Love, So I Tried to Prove It Season 2. Or Data Live 4. Or A Couple of Cuckoos. Or Love After World Domination. Those are all romantic comedies you could go and check out if you wanted to. But I will not be covering them here on this stream. S sorry, I just won't be. Um, but I will be talking about... Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 3, which is also called Kaguya-sama Love is War Ultra Romantic. This is, uh, as I mentioned, the third season of this fantastic show. Now, what sets this apart from other um, uh, uh, romantic comedy shows is the main characters are in the won't they section of the will they won't they uh, you know your traditional story you're gonna have your characters get to know one another maybe the, the 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 kind of the foibles of them getting together some uh some scenarios where they have a, a moments where they're, they're like oh they just miss each other or one likes one more than the other or one of them is dating somebody into that we don't have any of that we have two characters who like each other and who are Interested in dating one another, but for various reasons, can't be the one to admit their feelings because that would be losing in the game of war or in the game of love, I should say. Uh, uh, you have, uh, you know, she's a uh, very well to do person from a well to do family, and for her to, you know, stoop to telling a commoner she had feelings for him, even if she, though she does have feelings for him, no, 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 I can't do that. Uh, she'd give up all the power and he's a commoner trying to do his best to support his family particularly his sister uh and trying to uh work uh, uh through scholarships and and rise above all of uh the the issues that are that are plaguing his family uh financially uh so to be to tell someone uh in that position it would be like him basically saying you know like this is as much as i can do is be your beau uh, also, neither have really experienced dating. Um, she doesn't really have common sense, like or commoner sense, I guess you'd say. And he's just he's just weird um, and kind of oblivious to things. So it's just their interactions. Now you also have other characters you can see in the shot there um, uh, that are dealing with their own high school stuff that may that nobody so far knows they like each other really, um, but they're going through their own things. There are other other stories. This is season three, so. Um, it's not to me as strong as the pre, the first season. Uh, we're not, we're only so far into season three right now. Um, but it has felt like, okay, two or three stories per episode instead of like a larger arc that they're dealing with. It's just like the ongoings, uh, and also focusing on the minor characters because it is the third season, but it's still strong. Um, I generally don't like the kind of tsundere relationship, uh, stuff, but since they're both so over the top in their tsundere-ness, uh, it works out really well. Um, so, I, do, I, do, I mean, I'm talking about in this video. I recommend, I go to say, with, uh, without saying it, I'm recommending every anime that I talk about of these four. Um, and now let's get into, uh, the, the next three are all going to be the first seasons of things. They're based on light novels or graphic novels, or, or sorry, manga. Um, all three of these have just begun. There are only a few episodes in, so it's easy for you to get caught up on any of these, whereas Kaguya-sama, um, you would have to go back and watch those previous seasons. You can skip the second uh, OVA. It's not good. Anyway, let's talk about Aharan-san. Uh, the full name is Aharan-san wa Hakaranai. I don't usually say the other part. Aharan-san is the young girl there in the center. Uh, they are both high school students, even though he is very tall and looks and has a face that 
people are scared of and a demeanor that people are scared of and she is very small and doesn't say anything uh and people are weirded out by her um they're both weirdos and they're both becoming friends that will blossom into a relationship at some point and we're watching the blossoming we're watching their friendship develop uh i love their two weirdos that it's not just that he's a bland nothing um we'll get to that in a minute um I, i'm totally uh in love with that uh that they're just like trying to feel each other out and it's strange uh her thing is that she's it's not just that she's like mute this isn't comey uh from comey can't communicate uh this is more that she doesn't understand boundaries like social boundaries and she's become withdrawn because she was rejected she got too close she got too intense with people and they pushed her away and so then she's kind of like folded into herself also part of it is that i don't think she understands volume control um and he is well one he comes to like her um as a person um but also a, a big driving force for him is that like his face and demeanor kept people away and he didn't make friends so now is his now he's like this is my seatmate i'm gonna make an effort he's making the effort and because she's weird his weird um uh compliments hers uh so he is the uh, kind of like the straight man for lack of a better phrase unfortunately uh he is kind of like the your your constant your like person to relate to but he is also kind of a weirdo uh and i love that and the supporting cast are weird and fun and not you know it's like yes do we have the girl that is scared of him and is jealous of him at the same time uh but we're all, but also she's big she's taller than he is but also a free cat and that's fun um so yeah uh, we're gonna see more of these characters and more of the uh, friends as we go um this is just a standout cute show it, it it's very fun very silly uh weird uh there's a whole episode uh, uh where they're just trying to spend a bunch of time together and making memories because they're going to move seats and not be seat and not sit next to each other uh that also involves like a youtube dance and it, it's just very fun uh, he's so disappointed that youtube dance didn't go viral uh, I don't know why it would, but he's very upset about that, which I, I just is charming. Shiki Mori's not just a cutie. Uh, oh boy, this one. Um, is it a bit of the reverse Prince Charming? Is this the Princess Charming kind of a scenario? Yes. So we got a dude, our dude, he's just, he's not a himbo because I don't think he's dumb. But he is clumsy. He has bad luck, incredibly bad luck. And he's constantly being saved by his girlfriend who is, when she's not being cute, it's because she's being badass. Just like a complete and total awesome badass. Uh, I love this. I love that they're already dating, even though it's very early in the relationship. So we don't have the will they won't they. Or are they going to get together? We know their boyfriend, girlfriend, they're trying to make it work with the fact that he is accident prone and also would like wants to protect her sometimes. Uh, she... I don't know if we're ever going to really get into the fact that she is incredibly strong and fast and like a total complete and utter badass like she has a fan club at school because she's just like the kind of girl that girls can fall in love with um and he is like just a nice boy like he's he's bland he's a little bland um but we'll, hopefully we'll see more of his personality uh he's also just a cutie and he is somebody that you want to protect and i like that he is he's a little it's not manic pixie dream boy, but it's a little like show up on a, on a white horse and protect the fair uh, man, not maiden, the man. Um, and it's already cool. I, I like the action moments. I like their cute, like flirty moments where it's like, oh, am I joking that I want to make out with you here? Or do I really want to? Um, I really like it. I think it's very fun uh and light and then also like i said has that little action moments that are great and you just like you just want things to work out for the two of them and you also hope he doesn't die because oh boy he could die at any point because this dude has got real bad luck except for his cool girlfriend who sometimes is a complete and total badass um speaking of action if if you were like oh the action parts that sounds good i would love more action in my comedic romance series well uh, oops sorry wrong direction you want to maybe check out spy family that might be something that's right up your alley 
uh, because it's a different sort of romantic comedy and family comedy. Uh, basically, uh, we got ourselves a spy who needs to infiltrate a particular place. This is a time of a lot of like spies and uh, uh, you know uh, people. They're distrusting the government, but also this like oh, well, there's a lot of people who are like leaking information to other countries and you know there's a, little, there's a lot of mccarthyism not a little bit a lot of mccarthyism going on there um so you got a spy and he needs uh, a cover uh, as being a parent get enroll his child in school so he ends up finding a child to adopt uh and eventually he, he needs to have a wife so he comes in a scenario with a woman who Hey, let's pretend that, you know, you need, you need a husband or really she needed a boyfriend, but whatever. I need a wife. I've got this child. Let's pretend to be a family. And she's, he's lying to her. She's lying to him. Meanwhile, uh, Anya, our, our child there is a psychic. And so she knows that her dad is a uh, spy and her mom is an assassin. Yeah, her mom's an assassin. So he, she knows both those things. And nobody else knows anything, but also she's a child, so she thinks that's exciting and cool and doesn't quite understand that, like, what's going on and what that means. So you're going to get really well done action, uh, great fight scenes. Um, I should also mention that our assassin uh, doesn't understand how normal people react, which is great so that he could lie to her and, and, and all of this is fine. Uh, so he's just like, this, seem this seems weird. She's just like, this is what's happening, which is great because you you need a suspension of disbelief to understand that this would happen the way it is where nobody figured out like what's going on. Um, but yeah, and so you, we're going to see them figure out how to be a family and maybe start to come together. And, you know, like obviously for Anya, the two of them being together in an actual real relationship and being her real parents would be ideal so she's pushing for that and both of them are pushing for their missions or at the very least our assassin uh is looking to at least keep her cover going so it's because it would be suspicious if someone in her early 30s wasn't married uh whatever uh and he's you know looking to have the perfect family as a good cover so while they're trying to keep it together Anya's trying to keep them together, and it just makes a great dynamic. The manga is fantastic. I recommend it. Uh, it's lovely and cool as hell because the, the fight scenes are really good. It's animated very well. Voice acting, acting is fantastic, uh, although uh, uh, some of the voice actors are in other things, and that's only weird for me and not weird for you. But yeah, that's Spy Family. I highly recommend it. Uh, and that's for spring 2022 romantic comedies that I'm recommending to you. This season is jam-packed with a bunch of stuff. We got great action. If you like Isekai, there's some good Isekai and some okay Isekai. Um, there are uh, other comedic shows. There's other uh, um, action series, as I said. Um, we got some plenty of fantasy stuff. And like I said, there I'm going to read these again. There are other romantic comedies you could check out if you wanted to. Uh, Comey Can't Communicate Part 2, Science Fell in Love So I Tried to Prove It Season 2, Date Alive 4, A Couple of Cuckoos, and Love After World Domination. At the time of this recording, A Couple of Cuckoos hasn't come out yet. It could be great. I, it, It's a whole thing about like they were switched at birth and now they're... May, I don't know. It seemed weird and I, I, I didn't necessarily get drawn to it. But it could be great. I, I could be at the end of the season telling you that's one you shouldn't have missed. Uh, you know, so it's totally possible. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for Pat Bear's Anime Club. Again, in the comments below, is there something you'd like to see me cover? Is it a, a subgenre uh, that you think uh, deserves a mention? Um, what are you watching this season? That's good to know. I always want a recommendation there. The, the long list of anime that I am currently at this very moment watching, I'm going to read all of them right now. Kage Sama Love is War, Ultra Romantic, the third season, as mentioned. The Executioner in a Way of Life. Uh, Aharansan. Spy Family. I'm Quitting Heroing. The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. RPG Real Estate. Skeleton Knight in Another World. I'm Kodama Kawashiri. Kodawa Kawashiri. Uh, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. And Trapped in a Dating Sim, The World of Otome Games is Tough for Mobs. 
I will also probably watch the second season of Rising of Shield Hero, but I don't like to watch that. Um, uh, and Ascends of Oakworld Season 3. I didn't finish Season 2, so maybe I will. Let me get caught up with that. Um, so let me know what you're watching. If there's something that, that you think, oh, Pat, you would love this, uh, let me know in the comments. I would love to read it, and I will see you in the future on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.